Hey everyone, welcome back to Addie P's Real Estate Tea, where today we are going to discuss should we upgrade or not? <laughs> Getting your home listed can be a very tedious and nerve wracking in some cases um, task. However, doing some simple upgrades can really help take your house from point A to point B to point C and to point S, which is sold. That's what we want, right? So just a couple of tips that I wanted to discuss with you all that may help you get to that point. Um, if you are a little strapped on cash and maybe just uh, don't have it like that, these are some things that you can maybe do to get your house a little freshened up. Um, some folks do not have the financial means to be able to put in a new kitchen or a new bathroom um, if they have not done so in you know many decades. Maybe they've owned the house for a while um, and it's older, um, but it can still get you to the sold point if you do a few quick things. Uh, now, before I get into the video, as I always so graciously ask, and you all so graciously oblige, please hit that thumbs up button if you like what you hear in the video. Please consider subscribing as my plan is to always post on Wednesdays and bring you all new real estate related content here on this channel. Uh, so please consider subscribing. And if you subscribe, please hit that bell notification to be notified of future videos on the channel. And don't forget your girl over on Instagram. Drop me a heart and show me some love on all the real estate related content that I bring to you all there on a more consistent basis. All right, now let's get into these upgrades. So our first upgrade that I highly suggest, um, what do we do when we first go to a property? We pull up in our car and we park uh, or we drive by. So what do we see? Uh, do we see um, equipment laying out? You know, if you've been doing work outside or uh, toys or whatever the case may be. I know how hard it is. I have a toddler myself to kind of pick up and so forth after your little ones. But uh, the curb appeal. So make sure that you have that curb appeal going on. Um, <clears throat> if you have a lawn uh, out front, please make sure that it is mowed. Go that little extra step and weed. Uh, break out the weed whacker. Ask your neighbor down the street, hey, can I borrow your weed whacker? Um, if you like your neighbor down the street. But you get my point. Please make sure that you do what you can to beautify that space because that is literally the first thing that folks see when they enter your home um, or if the entryway is in the back of your house make sure the back of your home is tidy clean and that it has that curb appeal so that's number one we're making sure that our grass is cut our weeds are pulled um, if we have a couple coins in the bank uh, let's make sure that we go ahead and um, get a couple little plants to put outside and you know, snooze it up a little bit or hey if you got it like that hire your local landscaper hey i need you to come on out and fix me up here I'm planning on putting the house on the market. All right, our second is cleaning. Girl, clean your house, okay? I don't wanna smell musty gym socks. I don't wanna smell cigarettes when I come in to look at a home that I'm thinking about buying. Uh, if you wanna smoke, hey, I'm not getting down on you. I personally don't, but smoke outside, especially if you know that you are selling your home. But cleaning your home, a good deep cleaning, put on some music. I know me, I love my uh, 80s, 90s hip hop. Turn that on, get the tunes going, and you will be amazed. Get those windows clean, you know, um, and just get it smelling real good in there. Uh, go to Bath and Body Works. Uh, yes, I am a Bath and Body Works fan. Uh, and get yourself a nice uh, candle going. Uh, smells are important. When folks buy, they are... Um, they need to be pleased. Their senses need to be pleased, especially if it's someone who plans on living in your home and occupying the home. Um, they need to be 
uh, pleased with their senses. And there's nothing worse than coming into a home and smelling foul odors and so forth. So if you can so humanly help it, um, you know, make sure that your home is clean uh, at least. And um, if you are a pet owner, make sure that you are tidying up after your pets and making sure um, that litter boxes, if you have kitties, uh, are emptied. If you have a dog, that their hair is being vacuumed up and so on. So we want to make sure that we are keeping the house clean. Now, the next one is painting. Um, now, my husband is a painter by trade. Um, that is one of the services that he offers in his video, uh, in his video, <laughs> in his business uh, that he owns uh, along with cleaning services. Um, but painting, um, you know, that's some of the phone calls that he gets are folks that are looking to sell their home or um, folks that are just buying. But painting is a big thing. Um, now, I know that you love hot pink and you want to put it all over your walls. But if you're putting the house on the market, let's keep those colors neutral. Whoever purchases the home or wherever you go to next, you can put that hot pink on those walls of whatever home you purchase after you sell this one. But we want to make sure that those colors are neutral. All right. And lastly, um, my little tidbit here is to make sure that all your appliances are in working order. Um, appliances can, um, can really kind of enhance uh, a buying experience for, uh, for a buyer who maybe this is their first home, they're moving from an apartment, they don't have appliances of their own, like washer, dryer, um, you know, refrigerator. So make sure that those things are in working order. Again, if you do not have the financial means to go out and buy new stuff, then you just don't have it. Um, I don't think it's going to make or break a deal, especially in this current market. However, it is nice to have all of those things together. So with all of these upgrades that I suggested, like I said, these are simple things, um, things that you more than likely can do within your means. Now, again, um, if you have the financial means to be able to upgrade, say, a bathroom or a kitchen, if those are the things that are being recommended by your real estate agent, then I really suggest you do it. Um, but these are some quick, simple tips to help get you on your way. All right, guys. Well, thank you again for joining me on this video. Thank you uh, in advance for all the likes and the subscribes. And if you have anything that you want to hear about, please drop me a comment below. And thank you again. Have a blessed one. Take care.